Naomi Watts has made a successful career mixing critics' favorites like Mulholland Drive and 21 Grams with blockbusters like King Kong and The Ring. Now she's getting Oscar buzz again for her role as a bored wife in the new movie, The Painted Veil. I know you're angry at me, but if we could just try and no, talk Shula. about... Honestly, I don't understand you. What, what is it that you want from me? Perhaps I just want us to be a little less unhappy. You're mistaken in thinking that I'm unhappy. I have far too much to do here to think of you very much at all. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. I feel useless. What do you propose that I do about God's that? God's sakes, Walter, will you stop punishing me? Do you absolutely despise me? No, I despise myself. Why? For allowing myself to love you once. Ooh, and Naomi Watts is with us. Good morning. Good, good to morning. see you. <laughs> Such a good story based on a, a, a story written by Somerset Mom. And tell a little bit about who this woman is, who this woman is you play. Well, she starts off as a little bit self-involved, and she's a flapper girl she's in the 20s, and um, her She's family... a woman of a certain age who really does need to get married. Right. She's, she thinks that she's above all that, right. and, and her family is putting pressure on, and she feels that I've got many men, I've got lots of attention, who right. needs to be married? She's sort of a forward thinker. And here comes this along this doctor, and it seems pretty obvious that maybe this really is the opportunity to get married, and so... It's sort of out of desperation to right. get away from her family. Yeah. And, and he says, you know, we're, we're, I'm living in Shanghai, will you come? Yeah. And, and she, she says, does. Yes. And you immediately embark on an affair with Liev Shriver, a character yeah. played by Liev Shriver, which is probably isn't wouldn't be a hard thing for you to do anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Correct. Yes, yes. <laughs> Since he's a person of significant interest in your life, how's that's, that? That's, that's All right. True. <laughs> uh, this story, China plays a huge character in this mm, film, mm. as it takes place in the 1920s or so. Yes. What was it like to shoot over there? It was really just extraordinary. Just, I mean, first of all, we were in Beijing, then Shanghai, and then we went down to the deep south, and where you see all those beautiful mountains, and yeah. you just cannot believe the landscape. It's breathtaking everywhere you look. Yeah. And so it was really so much a part of the film. Yeah. And um, it looked like it wasn't e it wasn't easy. I'm guessing to to film there. Did well, there were challenges, definitely, yeah. every step of the way, but you, that was part of the adventure of it all, you know. Right. At first you found yourself resisting, going, but we need this and that, and, mm -hmm. and it's just not available, so you, you kind of go with it. And, yeah. and um, yeah, I mean, and for instance, we, we were in this one street town for about six, six weeks, and there was one restaurant, and, um, you know, the menu was <laughs> quite different Somewhat to what limited. we're used to. <laughs> and, you know, and the, and the toilets and things like that sure. was all very different. Than you and Ed Norton had been talking talking about making this movie for how long before you actually got around to doing it? Three, at least three years, possibly four, and, yeah. and he had been attached to it for seven years. Yeah. The, uh, it, it really is, it's luminous and uh, it's kind of luxurious and uh, there's all this deprivation and because of the deprivation the characters actually begin to find themselves, which is a, yes. sort of a wonderful, wonderful kind of storytelling. They become better versions of themselves, yeah. basically they're affected so deeply by what's going on around them, yeah. the people near them, the, the beauty of, of the atmosphere and everything. Um, so they, so yeah, yeah. they, they fall in love with each other and then, you know, learn more about themselves in the process. Well, and horrible, tragic things happen, but we won't talk about that. Now. Okay. <laughs> how, how do you make a choice like this? Because, you know, as Hollywood goes, you've made lots of little, really important, terrific films. You've made some gigantic horror films. You've made a big ape movie. <laughs> when you, in your catalog of choices, how do you say, I want to make that one right there. Yeah, it's 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 a strange journey. It's never completely calculated. It's a lot to do with the directors um, and the characters, yes, absolutely have to have some kind of transformation. I like to believe that I'm playing women that um, become, you know, more, they learn something in the process of that story. Right. Um, and, um, yeah, mixing it up, trying to do things you haven't done before. How about a romantic comedy? We want to see you in a romantic comedy. Yes, I'd like to do something lighter, definitely. And, <laughs> Um, but I don't know. Maybe I, I never really get sent those things, and if I do, they're not the, as good as I'd like them to be. I think right. a good romantic comedy is not, not easy hard to, to find. find. Yeah. Yeah. They say that about a good man. That's true. <laughs>
and a good romantic comedy is hard to find too. Great success and uh, good luck with this. It's a really lovely movie. Lovely. Thank movie. you. Great to see you.